Welcome to another video. A walk on the wild side. And today I'm in the dead center of Blackpool. Yes, I'm here in Leighton Cemetery. I hope you got the joke. Yes, I am here in Leighton Cemetery. Oh, it's I'm starting in Leighton Cemetery. And it's all dark. Oof. Oh, it's a bit scary in here. Yeah. We're about an hour after sunset and it's all gone dark here in Leighton Cemetery. Yeah, and I'm just actually by, don't know if you can see it, but we've got the main road over there. I'm going to be coming out of here now. The locals are very quiet around here. In fact, they're dead quiet. Sorry about that. I've done that before in another video. It was a while back, I can't remember which video it was, but I started here in Leighton Cemetery. And I'll show you a bit more, but it's just too dark to show you. But uh, we're right by Talbot Road. And what I want to do in this video, you can probably just see some more gravestones there. I want to take you all the way down Talbot Road from where it starts here at the gates of Leighton Cemetery, all the way to the top, where it ends at the promenade and the North Pier. Yeah, so I'm in Leighton, folks, and Leighton is a big area of Blackpool, and it's a, quite a good area as well. It's a big, it's old as well. It's quite old, Leighton. It's got a lot of history about it. We're just coming out onto the main road now, Talbot Road. So this is where Talbot Road comes to an end, and it sort of blends into another road called Westcliff Drive. You can see on the sign there, Lot 20, and this takes you through the main sort of town of Leighton and uh, yeah it's quite a busy part of town as well always lots of shops here lots of shopping to do that you can do here just over the road they've got can you see that there there's a toilet block over there an old toilet block yeah that's it's still a toilet block but it's one of the new Danfo that's managed by Danfo you know they're all sort of like that now aren't they and uh, just over the road here i believe is a library look at this Leighton library i'm not sure if it's uh, still a library to be quite honest but it's a nice building isn't it there over there yeah it is i can see now it does say library on, on the front there yeah Leighton library all of these local libraries have all kind of well some of them are still libraries but a lot of them have changed purpose haven't they anyway let's head down Talbot Road all the way to the promenade and we'll see what we can see shall we I can see beams of light coming into the sky I don't know if they show up on the video but I think they're coming from the promenade yeah I think there's a bit of a light show going on yeah so just over there is where I started that's where the gates to the cemetery are on Talbot Road there are other ways into the cemetery as well and I'm just walking around the the side of it now you probably can't see a whole lot at the moment but I'm making my way along Talbot Road now towards the west and uh, we'll see what we can see shall we okay I've just come back across the road again we're looking towards the back end of the cemetery there just beyond that car there that's where it comes to an end there and we've got some houses here now they look really old these houses they're like a really deep red brick. They're quite fancy as well. Yeah, there's some quite fancy houses along Talbot Road. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a road of changes as well. It's a bit of a transition area, Talbot Road. You go from some quite fancy houses to terraced houses just down here on this street here. This is called Cameron Avenue. And as you can see, it looks a bit like Coronation Street land down here, doesn't it? So there you go. Terraced houses just off Talbot Road. Now well, let's carry on. Got some more terraced houses down this street here. This is called the Whittaker Street. And on the corner, we've got a scuba diving. School of Diving, Scuba Co. Anyone fancy any scuba diving? Yeah, and just across the road there's another terrace. 
of those quite fancy they're very very distinctive these houses they've got very ornate um, windows and uh, lintels yeah so they're quite fancy those houses yeah and next to those on the corner here is the Queen's pub yeah the Queen's look at that the Queen's on Talbot Road it's a massive building and it looks like it's built in the same kind of style as those houses that we just went past before yeah there you go the Queen's that road over there is called Peel Avenue and it's a T road because I think it leads down to uh, I think they've shut it off no that leads down towards the biscuit factory the massive biscuit factory yeah got a bunch of shops over there shops on this side we've got a big takeaway there actually yeah there's a lot of shops on this part of uh, Talbot Road here Talbot sale rooms there's another road over there that's been blocked off by the council got some more takeaways over there we've got Chick Phil A and we've got a pizza place I don't know if you can see down that road there but that's looking towards a massive biscuit factory it used to be called Symbols and it's now called Fox's Burton's yeah Fox's Burton's biscuits So we'll carry on down Talbot Road, going past some more shops here now and some houses in between. Indian, look at this here, that looks fancy. The Gulshan Grill. Is it a restaurant? I'm not sure. I'm not that familiar, to be honest, with Talbot Road. But uh, there's quite a few um, businesses down here, a uh, bit of industry. There's one over there. That one's called Jay Salisbury and he, he repairs garden machinery. Really, really good actually. If you've got any garden machinery that needs repairing, that's the place to go. Yeah, he used to actually be up at Bispam where the TVR buildings are. That's where he used to be based. Yeah, so there you go. Just going past another place now. Here, look at this here. Thai street food. That looks quite fancy, doesn't it? Look at that place there, look. And next to that, we've got this place called Leighton Plumbers. That looks old, doesn't it? Leighton Plumbing Store. GT Bird. That doesn't look like it's been open for a long time. Okay, I've just come across the road, so that's where I was, that's Ting Tong's Thai street food over there. And just over here is something quite interesting. You see there's like a, there's a street here, and this leads into what used to be the Queen's Park Estate, or Leighton Flats, or even Queenstown, whatever you want to call them. This is where the high-rise flats were, right here, yeah, in here and now look look at it now it's right fancy let's just have a little look before we head off back down talbot road yeah but this is where Leighton flats were the high rise yeah a little bit notorious yeah but now look at it well i'll tell you what it's very quiet so there you go that was a little look inside the new development on the site of the old Queenstown flats and just to my left here we've got this precinct here with a bit of a parking area and there's some shops there's some more shops that I can smell there smell takeaway food it smells quite nice actually that yes we've got some more shops here convenience store there got a bargain booze ah, 
and we've got uh, another takeaway on the end there yeah so another takeaway here in this little precinct another little road here which leads down to some more terraced houses that's called Empire Grove that there and right on the end we've got uh, some more businesses the bed shop there some flats above the, the shops here as well and we've also got Blackpool Labour Labour Party shop right on the very end there and we're now at the junction with Devonshire Road so if you head that way that takes you to the north and underneath the uh, the railway track down there there's a bridge by the biscuit factory yeah so that's that way we're going to be heading up that way there I just want to show you around here we can see the tower over there can you see it the tower oh look at that doesn't it look amazing but uh, there's a big garage here look someone just went flying past on one of those scooters I tell you what they're everywhere aren't they those uh, electric scooters God, you've got to watch where you, you're walking because they could easily run you over and we're just going past now you see this wall here this wall this used to be where the old hospital used to be Devonshire Hospital yeah there was a, there was a hospital in there and it's currently being used by the ambulance service as a temporary home at the moment Anyway, we carry on. I'm just looking over the road towards a new had Well, I say new, it's not new. But I remember when there used to be an abattoir over there. I think that that road used to be called Abattoir Road that leads into that estate there. Oh, just look in here. Look, we can see the ambulances. Look. Can you see? Look at that. This is where all the ambulances are, yeah? Oh, we got blue lights. Please, oh, here we go. Kicking off somewhere. And to be honest, Talbot Road is a little bit iffy around here in areas. I'm actually walking towards an area now that is a little bit dodge. Uh, just over the road is a, a block of flats it's called Spencer Court over there Spencer Court I used to know some people that lived in there and it is one of those places that um, where you can get all kinds you know there's some nice people living there but you can also get some people moving that are a bit troubled into places like this so I tell you what, those sirens are not a good sign, is it? <laughs> when you hear sirens. But there you go. Spencer Court there. Yeah, and that police car, it went down that road over there. And I'm meaning to mention this part of the road over here. This leads into an area. I think it's called the Brunswick Ward over that way. And there's been quite a lot of trouble down there over the past few years since the um, the lockdown there's been quite a lot of trouble with gangs of kids yeah down that way yeah so the police have had to put quite a few dispersal orders in yeah over the past couple of years in fact they've done a, quite a few this year already when they've got gangs of kids hanging around in that area there yeah so all that area all the way all this zone here right down this side Talbot Road is the the outer area of the dispersal order yeah so I'm just coming back over the road I just want to show you some flats over the road which I believe when they built them there was a massive fire so there's some flats over the road it's called 123 Talbot Road and I might be wrong but I believe that this block of flats set on fire when they were building them yeah 
Anyway, I look all right now. Next to that new block of flats is another terrace here. Quite an old looking terrace this, I suspect it's quite a lot of uh, flats in this terrace here, yeah. We're getting close towards town now. Got some more flats here, quite fancy. Look at those LEDs, isn't it? It's fancy, isn't it? We're now up to a road called Green Hill Place. Another street with terraced housing. In fact, we've got some terraced housing right here now, look at this. It's a mixture of all sorts, Talbot Road. Lots of shops, but also lots of uh, houses as well. Just over the road is a big timber merchant called Savoy. Look at that there. That's quite a grand building, Savoy. Here you go, a very good place that. Everything you need for joining me. Just going past Hardman Street now. We're getting ever closer to the town centre. We're now up to Victory Road. That's Victory Road there. And that takes you all the way down towards Corn Street and the Victory Pub. But we're now by this tyre outlet called Quick Save Tyre. This has been here ages, this place. And I just want to show you around before we move on. Over there, we've got the Mecca Bingo. That used to be the Normid Hypermarket. It was purpose built. For the co-op, yeah. Who remembers that? The Normid. And there's a little road that goes down to take, take you into Savoy where you pick up your stuff there. And here we have a Shell petrol station. Yeah, so this is the Mecca Bingo. As I say, it used to be the Normid hypermarket, one of two that we had in the Blackpool. This road is called Thomas Street. And you know, I actually used to work here back in the olden days when I worked on the grounds. We used to work on the grounds at this place. and. I, quite a lot of other big places and I remember, remember they had massive bushes here yeah big bushes and sometimes there were homeless people sleeping under the bushes we used to find them all the time yeah all the way around here at the front and around the back as well yeah pretty grim that isn't it anyway I'm now looking down what's that road over there oh that's called Gorton Street yeah Gorton Street that takes you right into the heart of that area I was talking about that's a little bit iffy. Now I do know some people that live in there and they don't seem to have any trouble but I think it kind of depends where you are. There is a, a large children's home in that area and I think a lot of the trouble seems to stem from around where that place is. So you get a lot of kids, a lot of kids with nothing to do and they're hanging around and they end up having the police come to split them all up. Anyway, we're getting close to town now, look at that. Can you see the tower? Look at that, whoa. The tower looks awesome. And we've got another petrol station as well, the Sainsbury's. That's a more recent petrol station. There's uh, someone Oh, that, that, I can hear a conversation. There's a woman at the bus stop over there and I can hear every word she's saying. She's talking really loud. Yeah, so we're getting very close to the North Station now. I can see a train just over there. We're just going past Talbot Trade Supplies. And next to that is a pub. And this pub is called the New Road Inn. Look at this. The New Road Inn pub. And here are the prices. I can still hear that woman who was at the bus stop. I can still hear her. She is talking so loud. I'll tell you what, it's really busy, but there's the Sainsbury's. I'll just show you around. Looking back now to where I came from, there's the Mecca over there. And just over here we've got the pub, the new road in there. And just next to that we've got these flats here. 
And just up here on the other side of the flats is where a petrol station used to be there, but it's now a hand car wash, see? Yeah. And we're now pretty much up to the Talbot Gateway. Yeah, and there's North Station over there. Who remembers when North Station used to come out onto Dixon Road and it had that really fancy front to it? Before my time. Okay, I've come across the road just to show you this. We've got A1 Mobility over there. And that road there is called Buchanan Street. And that's another road that goes right through that troubled area. Yeah, Buchanan Street goes right through to Church Street. And anyway, just on the other side, we've got the Ramsden Arms. Look at that there. The Ramsden Arms Hotel, that's fancy, isn't it? I tell you what, it really looks out of place these days now, this pub here, but look at that. Especially when you look on the other side and you see we've got this massive Sainsbury's that looks just like an airport terminal. Look at that there. Wowzers. Look at this for a contrast. Sainsbury's. Ramsden Arms. Sainsbury's. Ramsden Arms. Sainsbury's. Ramsden Arms. Sainsbury's. Ramsden Arms. Yeah, so we're now right on the edge of Blackpool Town Centre now, looking towards a massive Sainsbury store there. One of the first buildings to go up as part of the, the Talbot Gateway, as this area is all called, it's all part of the the scheme called the Talbot Gateway which also includes the new tram station which they're currently building and the Holiday, the Holiday Inn Hotel. And here we have the side, Blackpool North, look at that. So a lot of you come to Blackpool on the train, you will come right out here to this and look at this now. Doesn't it look different? There's the back of the Holiday Inn there. Yeah. This is the Talbot Gateway. This is Bickerstaff Square. Bickerstaff is named after, is the, I think it was an old council leader and he was the main man behind Blackpool Tower. Yeah. Bickerstaff. There you go. And just over there, straight ahead now, is what used to be the old bus station and car park. It's still a car park but they did away with the bus station and there's just loads of businesses there in there now on the bottom. There's a gym, Mr. Baz Rise. Oop, just going past Cookson Street, got to get that in. That's Cookson Street, folks. Anyway, let's carry on. I'll tell you what, it's getting a bit busy now. We're just going past what used to be the old Wilco store that I remember. That big massive concrete monstrosity that used to be fine fair. Yeah, it used to be fine fair when they first built it. Yeah, it's all changed here in Blackpool. But we're now moving right along now and we're just coming up now to the junction of Dixon Road over there. We've got Mark Alley's. It's not lit up actually. Mark Alley's, a very popular pub here in <coughs> Blackpool Town Centre. Quiet tonight, fairly quiet. I'm filming this on a Tuesday. That's looking down Dixon Road there. Uh, it's quite an interesting area around here, I have to say. Quite interesting. Quite a lot of entertainment from the locals. Especially around Mark Ellis. Yeah, so we are moving right along now. Having foods. That bus is going to the Fleetwood Ferry. 
I don't think the Fleetwood Ferry will be going at this time. Take away here, month's time. Calgary. Hi. <laughs> now you know that couple that just went past then. They were, they were, he made a comment about my Calgary hat. And uh, I said somebody sent it to me from Canada. And them two are from Canada, yeah. So how about that, eh? Calgary, yeah. Big up Calgary. Yeah, so I'm now making my way right along now. We're just coming up to the junction with Abingdon Street. There's another pub here called the Victoria. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of a, a turn up. Calgary fans. There's a woman there asking a guy for a cigarette there. She was just asking if she could have a cigarette. I think I'd give it her and all. Yeah. Is she happy now? She was just asking the time then as well. I think she's a bit all over the place there. Eh? Sounds a bit of a nutter. Anyway. We're now on the last stretch. Just going past Molloy's, the pub on the corner. A little bit dark around here actually. But we're almost coming down to Talbot Square. And we'll be able to see the north pier. Okay, I'm now just outside the Trilogy, formerly home at HQ, Rumours and Jenks. And I'm just across the road now from the Premier Inn there, that used to be the site of the old Yates's Wine Lodge before it burned down, yeah. Yates's Wine Lodge, yeah. And uh, just over here we've got the, the old town hall there, Blackpool Town Hall. That used to have an extra tower on the top back in the olden days, but I think they, they dismantled it in the 1920s. It was a, a bit of a steeple that went even higher up, yeah. Maybe it was unsafe, so they dismantled it, yeah. Anyway, we made it all the way to Talbot Square. How about that? There's the North Pier over there. So there you go, that was a trip along the full length of Talbot Road, starting up there in Leighton and finishing right here in Talbot Square by the North Pier. So there you go, we've seen a lot of stuff along the way of Talbot Road and like I say, there are some areas of it that are a little bit iffy. You know, those areas that lead into that part of town where they have trouble with the kids there. But uh, on the whole, it's not too bad, really. Yeah, and most, most of you will probably only know this part of Talbot Road from North Station right up here to the North Pier. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one.